What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, so I had to do a fast rant today because apparently Konami is accidentally breaking PlayStation 4s. Now let me explain the how and the why. If you downloaded PT Demo, it's currently on your hard drive and it's registered with your PlayStation account. Whenever you download a game digitally onto your account, you also download a licensing code. This is so whenever you go online to play games or compete against others or whatever, it checks that code to make sure your sale is currently valid. If you buy a game for like five days, you do the rental system, at the end of that five days, it checks the licensing code and it automatically makes the game expire. Makes sense, right? Well, the problem is, Konami set a really funky one for PT Demo. They set a weird ambiguous number. I think it makes it where every two or three weeks it'll automatically expire and have to check the server to make itself re-valid. Not the biggest problem, especially if the servers are currently stable. Sometimes the PlayStation servers aren't stable though, and there's another secondary problem. If you have a expired game, it can lock you out of your digital library. Say you have a game that is just now going invalid. Well, it can try and access the server, and if it doesn't see the server for whatever reason, it can assume your library is having problems and make every license expire. It can lock you out of all of your digital games. This is something that would take a phenomenal amount of horrible accidents to happen. But unfortunately, this happened to a lot of gamers on Tuesday. The servers for Sony were down for maintenance right as PT Demo's license expired. They couldn't check each other and because of it, for about 12 hours, hundreds of gamers were locked completely out of all of their games on the PlayStation 4 that they had bought and paid for themselves because of a free demo that Konami put out. I just want to say this problem has been resolved. All of these people have now been able to refresh their licenses, whether through PC uh, connecting through the PlayStation Store or by doing it remotely somehow else. They managed to get their PlayStation 4s fixed. But what happens in the future? What the hell happens in the future? Konami, you're not really maintaining your licensing codes. In fact, the PT demo isn't in the store at all, technically. You're having to remote refresh your licensing codes at this point. You're going to start breaking PlayStation 4s. Now, I know you don't care. Konami has now said they're out of the console business. They're not going to make any console games. Going forward, they're just going to focus on mobile games. And even though you're pretty much just burning down the house as you run out of it, Konami, realize that people paid your bills. We made you the giant you are. So maybe just create a licensing code for PT Demo that lasts years. Years and years and years so that it won't ever even try and look anymore. Whenever I download most of my little PlayStation Plus games, like uh, Guacamelee, it'll have a code that's months in the future. It'll check it occasionally to see if there needs to be an update, but that's it. That's the only licensing it needs. Konami, don't shit on your people. This has been Dreamcast Guy saying like, comment, share this video with your friends, and subscribe. But no matter what, Konami, get your shit together. What the fuck are you doing with your lives? Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, maybe check out my last video. Please subscribe, and if you want, share this somewhere with your friends.